The Sensor Track Starter Kit comes with five wireless photo eyes. Each of these photo eyes is pre configured prior to being shipped out with you with a device ID. This device ID corresponds to a piece of equipment that you have in your facility. And so the installation process, the first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that we have the correct device ID for the piece of equipment we're getting ready to attach it to. The installation process itself is fairly simple. The first thing we're going to want to do is loosen this screw here so that we can open the top flap. When the hardware is shipped out to you, it's going to be in sleep mode so that we don't drain the batteries here. But you'll notice there's a little black button here. If I hold that down for three seconds, I'm going to see some LED activity here to indicate that we are now powered on. The first thing we're going to want to pay attention to is these bottom two. You can see that this green LED is flashing now at a steady interval. This doesn't always get picked up by the camera, uh, but it is flashing at a steady interval here. This is indicating that I have a good connection to our gateway device so that I'm passing the data from this photo eye back to the data collection device. The gateway device that you're sent as part of the kit may not be powered on at the point that you're getting ready to install this equipment. If that's the case, you can see if I turn off my gateway device, within a few seconds here, my bottom red LED is going to flash to indicate that I don't have an active connection to our gateway device. There we go. So you can install it like this, but as you can imagine, it can be pretty useful to have that gateway powered on and in its final location so that before I go ahead and clamp this down to a machine that I know that the location I'm putting it in has a good strong connection so that the data is going to be passed back and forth. It does come with a mounting kit that includes this couple of screws that can feed through here and kind of clamp it onto a piece of equipment. If that's not sufficient for you, we do have other mounting options as well, so just let us know. But primarily what we want to focus on is this yellow LED here. This is the test LED to let us know if the photo eye is currently seeing anything. This piece of equipment is not an identical match to the one that you're going to be receiving. This is a diffuse photo eye, so it's just looking to see if there's anything in front of it at all. At all. Uh, the one that you're going to be sent is retroreflective, so it's going to come with a reflector, and we're going to want to position the photo eye and the retroreflector to make sure that this yellow LED is indicating that um, it's receiving a signal back from the retroreflector. And then we're going to want to test to to use either a part or whatever we're watching actuate to indicate that we've produced either a part or the machine is cycled and make sure that that yellow LED is behaving in the way that you would expect it to, to say, you know, I just made one part, I just made another part, or this press just released, or this arm is actuating to push out some product. Um, whatever it is that we're measuring with the photo eye, we're gonna wanna make sure that the yellow LED is behaving properly in the position that we've mounted it in. And so once you're done with that, you can just screw this back on, and that's kind of the, the entire installation process. From that point, once we have all of these wireless photo eyes attached to the equipment, and we verified that the LEDs are behaving as they should, you can just let us know, and we'll continue with the rest of the process, uh, at which point we're going to find some ways to audit the data that we're receiving these over an extended period of time to make sure that the data is accurate. But for the installation process, that, that's really all there is to it.